Hey guys, welcome to Stacking the Shelves and Showcase Sunday for the weekend of June, January, I wish it was June, January 7th, uh, not 7th, I'm doing my math here, I'm all confused, I think it's the 16th, 17th, January 17th, I got really confused, I'm trying to plan like a little getaway vacation for like February, so I was thinking like February 14th presidency, <laughs> I don't know. I'm off by my month. Okay, enough of the half. Um, I did get quite a few books this week, and I know I'm trying to not get as many books, and I kind of fell off the, you know, resolution wagon on that this week. Um, four of them were review books, and four of them I bought. So I'll go ahead and start talking about them. The first one that I got for review is The Uninvited by Cat, Cat Winters. This actually doesn't come out until August 11th of 2015. Um, it's another book set during the time of the Great Influenza, and I read maybe a few months ago In the Shadow of Blackbirds by Cat Winters and really enjoyed that. Um, I have not read her book The Cure for Dreaming, but I do have it on my wish list. Either way, I was excited to get The Uninvited by Cat Winters. It's supposed to be kind of another um, historical mystery with some fantasy type elements in it. So that should be a good read. Um, the second book I got for review, and I got that from NetGalley. Actually, no, I got that from Edelweiss. I also got the sec this net one from Edelweiss. Um, this one comes out in on June 9th, and this, I apologize, this picture is really tiny. This is The Clockwork Crown by Beth Cato. Um, this is the second book in, what was the name of the series? The second book in a duology. The first one was called The Clockwork Dagger. It's kind of a his alternate history, fantasy, steampunk type of thing. I really, really like The Clockwork Dagger a lot. It's one of my favorite steampunk books I read last year. So I'm very excited to read The Clockwork Crown, and this will wrap up that duology. So that book comes out June 9th, and again, I got that off of Edelweiss to review as an ebook. I did get two books to review, like paper books, from Amazon Vine. The first one is Echo by Pam Manaz Ryan, and I, again, I probably murdered that name. Um... Now, I'm kind of blanking about what this, this comes out February 24th. Uh, it's a middle grade novel, and I am blanking about what this is. Okay, I'll, give, I'll just read you a little bit about it. It says, Lost and alone in a forbidden forest, Otto meets three mysterious sisters and suddenly finds himself entwined in a puzzling quest involving a prophecy, a promise, and a harmonica. So, it sounds like it's kind of a mystery with some fantasy elements as well. So I look forward to reading that. I know I read the synopsis and I thought it sounded really cool, but you know, I read these things and then I forget what I read about. So the other one I got was also from Amazon Vine, and this is a book I know a lot of people have been looking forward to, and it came in this really cool like little box like this, and you open it up, and you open it up again, and I got Red Queen by Victoria App. No, see, this is me and Nate. Aviard, Aviard, Victoria, whatever. Um, Red Queen, this is the first book in a new series that's supposed to be kind of an epic fantasy series. It's being somewhat compared to Game of Thrones. Um, I love the cover, I love the title, I love the synopsis, and I think it sounds really cool. So I was very excited to get a copy of this. Again, this does come out in February, so both this book, Red Queen, and Echo, I will be re reading pretty soon, both because they're Amazon Vine books and I have to review those within 30 days, or I can't get any more. <laughs> and, you know, they're, they're coming out soon, so I like to review the books that I get for review before they actually release, so you guys can get some information. So this also has a little thing on the cover. In a world where the color of your blood decides your fate, power is a dangerous game, so... Nice promo packaging on that. Apparently, this book is getting a lot of promotion. So hopefully, it's as good as the promotion says it's going to be. All right. So then, on to the books I bought. I apologize. I'm kind of babbling a lot tonight. It happens. Um, we went to The Source, which is our local comic book store. And, you know, I do buy a lot of graphic novels online. And I get a lot for gifts. And I get a lot for library. But every once in a while, I do try to hit up our local comic book store. Which is called The Source and is in Roseville, Minnesota. And it is an awesome comic book store. They do a lot of gaming there. They have great board games. Um, 
great comics, great like miniature painting, and like if you're into all that stuff, which we definitely are, um, we spend more time there and money there than we should. But anyways, we were there, and I decided to pick up a couple graphic novels that I saw there, and I was like, oh, I really want these. I might as well get them at my local comic book store. So the first one I got is Oko, The Cycle of Earth by Hub. I do have the first book in this series. I really love the drawing in it. Um, I have not yet read the first book in the series, but I plan on reading it soon, within the next couple months. And um, these are four books, one for each element, and they're supposed to be really good, so I'm excited to read that. Um, you guys are just going to groan when you see what the next one is. The next one is the 12th Girl Genius book, and you all know I am absolutely obsessed with this gas lamp fantasy steampunk graphic novel series. It is hilarious. It makes me laugh like crazy. And they have been so good and so funny. So I read, I believe, the 10th one last week. So the review for that one will be going up this week. I'm reading the 11th one right now. And so I got the 12th book. It's quite a thick graphic novel. But these are just awesome. They have wonderful color pictures and they're hilarious and very fun to read. So then the last two I got, I actually got, I think I got these at Barnes & Noble. We were just hitting bookstores like crazy on Saturday. We were like going to the comic book store, then we went to the biking shop because, you know, we all want to be biking right now, but we can't because it's cold and snowy. And then we went to Barnes & Noble and like checked out all that. And my son has been really into reading those two Sutherland, so T-U-I Sutherland, like Wings of Fire Dragon books. So he wanted to get the next one to that, Barnes & Noble. And I had bought... Um, books two and three of Dead Man Wonderland on Amazon last week and I was like oh I'm gonna want to wander over and see if they have books three and four because we had checked at a couple of their bookstores and I could not find the Dead Man Wonderland manga in the bookstore well they did they actually had all of them there like one through six there so I picked up Dead Man Wonderland number four and Dead Man Wonderland number five so I'm excited to read those as well um, I'm kind of wrapping up I just finished reading uh, Marvel's Oz graphic novel series and I'm getting close to being caught up on the girl genius ones and so after that I'm going to start trying to get caught up on the Claymore ones that I've been reading and also these Dead Man Wonderland ones so I have a lot of mangas and graphic novels to read but I love them because they're just such good complete stories and they don't take a ton of time to deliver that story like sitting down to read a manga takes me 40 minutes and a great story and sitting down to read a 300 page book takes me three or four hours and it might be a great story or it might not so investment time investment wise I've been finding graphic novels and manga deliver a lot of story for their length all right I think I've babbled enough today um, I hope you guys got some great books this week and that you have a great weekend of reading ahead of you um, I hope you're having good weather um, you know Minnesota where I was very concerned about that um, we are finally, we were really, really cold. Like school got canceled last week because it was so cold. And it was really cold again this Monday. It was like negative 20 in the morning. But today it's 34 degrees and it feels like spring outside. So everybody's pretty happy about that. Um, what else? Not a lot else. Um, I have a semi-formal dinner to go to for my husband's work tomorrow night. So that's always interesting. I don't get to do that kind of thing much. So... It'll be an experience. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should mention my husband's like yelling in the background. They're actually having this dinner at the mansion that we got married in. So we got married almost 15 years ago, and they're having this semi-formal dinner at the mansion we got married in. So it'll be exciting to go and just see like how it's changed. Because when we got married there, they were in the middle of like renovating this big ballroom and all this. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm very excited to go see it. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys next week. Um, have a good week. Bye.